A mother of a teenager says her son was racially profiled while at Joint Base Charleston. Joint Base Charleston officials confirmed there was an incident between two teenagers and an adult male. However, they say it was a verbal dispute. News News Deanne Roberts broke the story and spoke with Joint Base Charleston officials as well as the mother who says she is seeking justice. My son could have not returned home. This has to stop. I spoke to this mother who's looking for answers after she says her son was racially profiled at Joint Base Charleston. I don't feel like it would have been the scene that it was if it was two little white boys running between houses with hoodies on. Amy Jamison says her 13 year old son, Kaden Winters, was visiting friends at the base Saturday, October 5th. They did have on hoodies. They were running between the houses. He had on a backpack full of snacks. She says at one point they stopped running and a man thought the teenagers looked suspicious. The man followed behind Kaden. Kaden and at that point Kaden did take off. He did take off running. At that point Kaden says that the man grabbed him from behind, turned him around, choked him two times around his neck. When I reached out to JBC officials, I was told there was only an argument. JBC says the two teenagers were playing pranks on houses. A neighbor confronted them. Quote, one thing led to another. Police were called and everyone went home fine. Hayden tells me officials never asked him what happened. They didn't get a report from me. They got one from the man that tackled me. It's a day Caden says he'll never forget. I can't like get that, that man's face out of my head. It's kind of just like replays over and over again. I thought it never happened to me, but it did. So he has a message for young boys who look just like him. Be prepared for this to happen. Don't think you're safe like I did. Now his mom is fighting for justice. Says his mom, I need, I need justice for my child. No one should be able to hold anybody's child against their will with physical force. Right now, Caden and his mom don't know who the man is. The day of the incident, no charges were filed. However, Caden's mom says the moment she finds out who this man is, she's pressing charges. I reached out to the Charleston County Sheriff's Office and I'm still waiting to receive a report. You can count on us to keep you updated. I'm Dan Roberts reporting in studio. Count on two.